All right, guys, welcome back to Crypto Coins NFT Gaming. My name is William, and today we have something super awesome a really great project that I am really excited to dive into with you guys today. It's called World of Warriors. It looks super cool. We're going to get right into it and let's get it. All right, first off, I have a trailer for this thing and it looks sweet. Um, lots to say about it, but we're going to watch it first. So let's get cracking. I hope everybody's having a great day. Before I play this trailer, just remember, I am not a financial advisor. I am not telling you or advising you to do anything that you haven't checked with a professional about uh, already. You know, if you want to deal with all this stuff or get into it, anything that we talk about, then talk to professional and then go and uh, use your hard earned money. If not, um, we're just going to have some fun and check out these amazing projects. World of Warriors. Here we go, guys. The project begins now. Gen NFT based play to earn RPG game. Introducing the WOW R token. Yeah. I did. Man, look at those graphics. Man. Oh, yeah. Come get some. I love it. Collect over 300 plus NFT warriors. Yeah! BBE Battle Mode to explore the 12 continents. Challenge players across the world with PvP 5 versus 5 battles. Yeah! Yo, she looks sick! Yes! This reminds me of... Uh, I don't know if you guys read Brandon Sanderson's works like this. Stormlight Archive. This looks awesome. Introducing unique NFT staking and token staking rewards. Yeah. Check out the music too. It's legit. We got some necromancy going on. A little bit of Final Fantasy style with the swords and stuff. Coming this winter. Winter is coming. <laughs> Guys, that looks amazing. All right. I love it. Let's dive right into uh, what's going on with um, these guys. Some deets uh, before I get cracking. Let me pull up. Um, we're going to watch that trailer again before I end this video let me um get to that's their twitter page that's their telegram and that's their website all right as you can see guys i was already skimming through it before i got on with you all um it looks pretty freaking awesome man i, I love it like brandon sanderson type stuff you know if, i don't know if you guys have read like any of those books but it definitely has a feel of that and like um like a Final Fantasy feel as well. So, uh, yeah, the project looks freaking awesome. Um, so what is World of Warriors? That's what I'm going to dive into. A lot of this stuff might be repeated, but who cares? And remember, guys, as always, check out the links below, and you can uh, either follow along with what I'm doing or go into it in detail yourself so you can really dive in. All right, we've got... World of Warriors is a scalable, sustainable fantasy universe with sophisticated game design mechanics of metaverse and play to earn. All right. Players will assume... Assu <laughs> Let's start that again. <laughs> Players will assume the role of a warrior and lead their team of a maximum of five warriors at player versus player or PvE and other gameplay and tournaments to earn... Wow our tokens, I guess that's World of Warrior tokens, and other NFT rewards. 
That's cool. The Warriors NFT collection consists of 10 different factions in five different rarity levels. The levels are common, rare, elite, epic, and legend. Uh, what issue does uh, do they solve? Um, I have, these guys have designed a better reward system unlike other P2E games where they run out of funds within a year. Yeah, that's always a pain in the butt. Uh, so these guys uh, solved that issue. They built an innovative staking model that helps users and gamers be more involved in the World of Warriors ecosystem. Um, cool. To stake their tokens, users can receive not only extra WoW uh, R moolah, <laughs> but also NFTs as a reward. These NFTs will have an in-game utility and are loaded with unique abilities and benefits that provide their owners with a decisive edge in the game. Super awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. All right. We're just going to go right into this website. And I bet I already talked about a lot of the stuff that... Uh, this website talks about because I'm awesome like that. And it's free. I got a mosquito flying around me, guys. Um, you know how it is. I know some of you guys are probably in the freezing cold, but not me. I'm in the tropics and there are mosquitoes all over. All right, we got um, World of Warriors is an RPG based uh, game on NFT play to earn model developed on blockchain technology and Binance Network. That is legit. Players collect powerful NFT warriors, summon the strongest companions, explore rich dungeons, and kill monsters to earn rewards or battle with other players. They proudly introduce the token named Wow R, which works to empower players to immerse themselves in the game and earn while they play. Earning while you play can't go wrong with that. All right, so it looks like we have a pre-sale on round two going on. So you can you can buy in, I suppose. Add World of Warriors uh, token on MetaMask. Oh, to MetaMask. So I guess up here we can connect your wallet up here. And we have the white paper staking the roadmap. Road, uh, roadmap. Um, I'm going to go over some of the white paper stuff. And definitely going to hit up some of that right now. Um... I like the website. I really like the game design. Like I said, it reminds me of some of my favorite author's stuff. Um, game overview. We've got NFT warriors from 10 factions. we got like some ninja looking dude in the front here. Collect powerful warriors. Collect from hundreds of powerful warriors with unique features from 10 factions and fall into three categories. Attacker, defender, supporter, and further these warriors with fall under... Wait, support, supporter, and further these warriors fall under, oh, and further, these warriors fall under different tiers of units ranging from, uh, ranging from common, rare, elite, epic, and legendary, just like I said before. We've got enhanced warriors and their skill set, and that guy looks pretty sweet. He's like my coolest, I like to do with the eye patch too, man, with the mechanical arm. Collect warriors with unique skills and freely decide how to train them by choosing the right equipment, artifacts, and weapons in the form of NFT collectible traits. Upgrade their skills and get your power enhanced to lead them to invincibility on the battlefields of player versus player and PvE. PvP and PvE. All right. Play to earn. Defeat bosses and earn WoW R or W-O-W-R. That looks pretty cool. That definitely reminds me of some cool RPG style games that I used to love to play back in the his A. We've got World of Warriors is designed where players can generate money from their gaming experience. Players earn WoW R tokens if they can complete any single quest or engage in bat battles against the monsters of the games or fight in the PvP arena. Further players can craft valuable NFT assets or find treasures, uh, treasure chests or enormous value with 
of treasure chests of enormous value which can be sold or traded on the marketplace for wow our loot the valuable token launched with the game guys this is really small writing so <laughs> bear with me lead your warriors on battlefields of the pve and pvp five versus five battle that's cool so five people can play five people Explore the metaverse with 12 continents of the game with immersive sceneries such as snowfield, deserts, forests, etc. Explore the rich dungeons. Dungeons are always cool in video games. I love going down and finding like which way to go to like really hone your skills, challenge powerful, bo powerful bosses, and collect rare materials. Compete with players from all over the world, fight for the highest honor, and get rich rewards that's what i'm talking about all right what's the tokenomics total supply one million no way all right the tokenomics you can see right here we've got the graph we've got uh even smaller lettering ladies and gentlemen and it's it's just the lettering is getting smaller we've got game development ecosystem and growth token breakdown Gaming rewards, staking rewards, pre-sale, public sale, liquidity, advisors, team, reserve funds, and total of a million, 100%. So I would recommend going on to their site, guys. Definitely link below, uh, worldofwarriors.games to really look at what's going on here at this because this looks like it's pretty intense and important. If I was going to do anything with this, I would definitely check this out. For instance, 6% game development ecosystem growth right here. 27% gaming rewards. 15% staking rewards. 12% public sale. 9% private sale. 7% liquidity. 3% advisors. 10% team. And 10% reserve funds. Again, check it out. You got the number of tokens and the percentages right there based on a million um all right we got a gallery kicking right here let's check it out so we've got some cool god looking characters uh, oh dude has a gun so they've got like a full range of characters and warriors with all kinds of weapons it looks like um looks like we've got uh we got jack and davian um, looks like we have like medieval weapons, steampunk style weapons. We've got nowadays weapons, uh, martial arts weapons. Um, looks like we have characters that are like uh, from the real world, from mythological uh, mythological worlds. So Aatrox, oh Lucifer. So we've got angels and demons. We got Dian Diana and Katrina, Katarina, Katarina. Oh, very nice. I dig it. Crazy hairstyle. She's like a Viking, or like a Valkyrie. We've got. I'm not even going to. Necrophus. <laughs> Necrophus. Um, and Darius. They look like they're kind of like evil magicians. Oh, yeah. You can see his hat has teeth. <laughs> He's got the evil magic wand. That dude's awesome. Yeah, the character Enchantress. Crobulus. Foresters, so Eternals, Dragon Tribe, we got Doom Legend, Brotherhood. So uh, we've got some cool stuff going on here, guys. Look at this. That dude looks legit cool, man. Talons. What's this chick in the background? I love it. Worlds of Warriors play to earn. It really looks awesome. Sword Guard. Kalissa and Kazumi. Katsumi, my bad. Katsumi. We've got Gandar, the Forgotten, and Jinx. I like it. Their designs are really cool. The Outlanders, Azir, that's the guy in the background with the talents, and Crocs. Crocs has like some kind of electrical power going on there. We got the Vanguards. These like a steampunk kind of version of people. We got Zet and Corky. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing these wrong. I'm just looking at them for the first time. We got Alyssa for the Wizards and Lena. Lena we saw in the trailer. Did we see Alyssa in the trailer? 
Oh no, we're back to the beginning. All right, guys, that looks awesome. So the roadmap, there's Lucifer. Uh, looks like we've already covered a couple of these. So 2022 was covered. We've got 2023, what to look out for in Q1. Private beta launch of the game. NFTs of the Warriors released. Establishing key partnerships. Getting advisors on board. Staking a launch. Uh, game development updates. We've got Q2 coming up. If it's not already happened, it's in 2023. But since we're in the very beginning, maybe not hap has happened. We've got NFT marketplace launch. Public beta launch. Expanding the world. Guild system development. Game development updates. Ladies and gentlemen. Q3. Full game launch. Bad A. <laughs> Economy system in place, live game rewards, first PvP arena tournaments. Oh yeah, time to get it on. And then four, coming soon. And guys, they are KYC audited. Pretty awesome. All right. So that is awesome, guys. I definitely want to play this game. It looks really sick. All right, so... Again, they're on um, they're on Twitter, so you can go on there and talk to them, see what they got posted, what's going on. Their uh, all their good stuff is there. Like, get in that comment section, become active in their stuff because you know these guys look like the kind of people that will uh, definitely talk back to you. So, get in on that. We've got um, the white paper. Let's check it out. See what we got. Let's see if we hit up any of this stuff or missed anything in this stuff. All right. Their vision. World of Warriors is a virtual world where players can build, own, and monetize their gaming experiences on Binance Smart Chain. Their vision is to create the world's most engaging blockchain game which unites creators, players, and digital asset owners to have a long-term sustainability, sustainability, long-term sustainable economy that is resilient and in line with players' needs. The economy in World of Warriors focuses on the players and is created with them in mind and hope this makes a self-sustaining and thriving economy for all. With World of Warriors, they are building an exciting game with a vibe and atmosphere similar to the lineage and World of Warcraft era. That's cool. If these guys get in on the World of Warcraft style stuff, then I'm in. I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, I'm in already. I want to check this out for sure. So um, It's looking pretty good. The gaming involves players engaging with the virtual world through warriors, battles, quests, tournaments, dungeons, and more. It would enable players to earn money via the play-to-earn and free-to-play models. The NFT marketplace, um, this would bring in digital asset owners who can treat all in-game collectibles as digital assets. Digital asset owners can interact with players to buy, sell, or trade the collectibles as NFTs. That's cool. Staking. This would appeal to developers and crypto enthusiasts interested in the back end part of the game. They would be involved in staking in game characters and earning revenue through this. With those three facets, blockchaining, uh, blockchain gaming, and NFTs coming together, a comprehensive metaverse will be formed really cool guys their mission is to create a game that works as a sustainable ecosystem for gaming earning and in-game exchange the game can be a space to connect digital asset owners and gamers uh, gaming involves the battles uh, investing involves building teams sponsoring and equipping them as well as making them stronger to earn tokens in return the stronger the team the higher number of tokens one can earn the game will first launch on the web and then be added for mobile users. Later on, their goal is to release it on more platforms such as consoles and PCs. Oh yeah, so we're talking like what? One, uh, uh, PlayStation and um, 
and uh, just PCs, you know, like your own gaming system. So, guys, check this out. So the link to this is in their website. Um, I definitely recommend going through that. There is a lot of information here, and I definitely recommend going through it before you guys hook up with this game if you decide to do so. Again, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just recommending what I want to do, and that's all I'm doing is saying what I want to do. So you've got some stuff here. Um, let's see, we've got uh, free to play, play to earn. Um, free to play. We want players to have the ability to enter the world of warriors in the simplest way possible. This is why uh, we made a free to play model available. So you can play it before you start like investing in stuff in there. Once the players are ready to try the massive gameplay and its strategies, uh, they can ship to a premium warriors by purchasing it from the game through the WoW R token. How oh, am I saying that right, guys? WoW R token. I don't know. W-O-W-R token. I just like WoW R. Um, it is important to note that free heroes cannot be sold in the marketplace, but premium warriors can be. Hence, it is recommended to initially buy premium warriors and then enhance them. Furthermore, the players can continue indulging in battles to earn more WoW R and upgrade premium warriors. Then you have the play to earn. One of the benefits of the play to earn model is that it makes it possible for players to earn more money while doing what they love, i.e. playing games. This can be through battles, dungeons, weekly player versus player wars, tournaments, and more. It says the better you perform, the more you earn. That's that's legit. Like that's what you want, right? The more you do, the more you get. This is a significant develop development in the world of blockchain and gaming since it supports gamers who spend considerable time, energy, and money on the game. World of Warriors is the virtual world that follows the play-to-earn model, promising its players a chance to earn money by performing in the game. It's pretty awesome. So 60 days uh, if you want staking rewards. This is built for crypto enthusiasts who may choose a period that they want tokens to be staked. It ranges from 60 days to 2 years. 60 days is 6% bonus. 120 days, 9%. 250 days, 20%. 1 year, 50%. 2 years, 120%. Wow, those are pretty awesome percentage points, man. Uh, users can claim the rewards and withdraw staked tokens at the end of the staking period. Bonus percentage is subject to change to incentive holders to stake for longer durations and to balance the reward ratio. All right, staking is the next part of this warrior's world, which engages the developers and blockchain enthusiasts, enthusiasts, enthusiasts interested in the back end part of the metaverse. Cool guys. Separately, uh, while our functions as a governance, a governance token. Holders of WoW R may stake their tokens to participate in the development of the blockchain game, voting on features, and thus directly influencing the project's way headed. The, the project's way is heading? And thus directly influencing the project's way is heading. The way the project is heading? I think that's what that meant to be. All right. NFT rewards. So this is built for gamers who may choose a period they want their tokens to be staked. It ranges from 60 days to a year. Each period included a certain type of in-game NFT as a reward and a minimum of WoW R tokens to be staked. They are as follows. Check that out, guys. We got 60 days, items 100,000. 150, 300, 250, 1 million. One year, whoa, land two. We got 2,500,000. Users can claim their NFT rewards and withdraw stake tokens at the end of the staking period. NFTs available are staking rewards at, are limited. NFTs available as staking rewards are limited edition collections and will not be available as in-game rewards or purchases. Wow, the economics of WoW are the economy in World of Warriors focuses on the players 
and is created with them in mind and hope this makes a self-sustaining and thriving economy that is resilient and in line with the player's needs. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's not just an RPG, but it's like, it's like a, a packaged world that functions as a legit economy. That's pretty awesome. How to earn. Players can earn while our tokens in different ways over the game. As in, you start the journey, players earn a faction of the token by defeating the monsters on moving to higher levels. Each monster rewards different payments as per the difficulty increase based on the level of warriors. Apart from the general gameplay, there is a passive way to earn from the dungeons and even battle out with other players across the game, which is the player versus player game mode and the arena battle which will be conducted once a week and the top three players of the leaderboard will be awarded handsome WoW R tokens and legendary mystery boxes. Everybody loves a good mystery box. Players can craft the weapons and equipment in the forge and can sell them on the NFT marketplace. Wow, you can make your own F NFTs. That's freaking awesome. That is super cool. So it looks like we've got tons of stuff going on here, guys. I could go on all day. Holy cow. The Warriors team, common, rare, elite, epic, and legend. We've got the factions are as follows, like I showed in the uh, pictures. We've got the Forgotten, the Doom Legion, Sworn Guards, Dragon Tribe, Outlanders, Vanguards, Wizards, Brotherhood, Eternals, and Foresters. Team composition, as stated earlier, each player will start with a single warrior and can have a maximum of five warriors. As you can see from the image top row in yellow, which is three warriors, should consist of attacker, defender based on of attacker defender based on every player's strategy. However, there is a compulsion of having two supporter warriors in every player's team. All right. This reminds me of a game I was like super addicted to a while back. I'm not gonna name it, but uh, it was very similar and I could not stop playing. So if it's anything like that, you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Apart from the warrior's equipment, we've got armor, weapons, boots, pendants, shields. So we've got attack, we've got defense, looks like magic. And uh, Boots. Boots is the odd man out. So, Boots is always the odd man out or woman out in a game, right? Like, they're always talking about the boots. Like, gotta run, gotta, your boots, boots, boots. Different ways of acquiring equipment in the game. Players will receive it as rewards from dungeon or by defeating boss monsters. And can be forged in the game. That's the coolest part, in my opinion. Also, players can purchase them through the NFT marketplace. So you can purchase like other per people's like forged materials. Arena and battlefields. Five player, uh, five versus five matchups. Five warriors, player versus player. This is cool. The dungeons are another way to earn passive income and other magnificent rewards. There is a feature called Stamina, which is introduced for warriors only to enter the dungeons. Players need to purchase the Stamina from the resource shop by using gems and filling their warrior's Stamina before they can enter the dungeons. Guys, you have to visit this site. Click on their, uh, their white page and then go to town, guys. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. And we went through this, the roadmap. Here we go, we got the team. We got Robert H, head of production and blockchain team. We got Nick, head of marketing. And we got John Avey, head of game development. All right, we got Shang-Chi, Guan Yin, James, and this person. <laughs> I'm not gonna put you your name. I love the uh, artwork, I really do. I'm a fan. It's very like uh, anime western mix. Um, join their community, guys. Check out these links. Most of them are going to be in the description below, if not all of them. Remember, they have Twitter as well. All right, before we go, um, boop, 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 boop. 
do, 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 do. Give me a second. Give me a second. Remember, guys, the private sale is going on for early adopters. Um, and player and can, and can add their token directly to MetaMask by clicking Add to MetaMask. Pretty sweet there. All right. Don't forget about that. Um, there will be player versus player modes where players will have the team of five warriors. I talked about that. And remember, guys, check out the white paper. It's the link in the uh, website and their roadmap for stuff that's upcoming and you can get in on. Hit up Twitter to make sure you stay in contact with them. And before we go, let's check out that trailer one more time. Oh, yeah. Because it's that cool. Let's do it. All right, World of Warriors. I love it. Man, the animation's awesome. It really is. It's the kind of thing that gets you excited. I want to see, like, a feature film of this, too, you know? They need to make, like, a, a short, uh, like, a 30-minute feature film, at least. That'd be great. Three hundred plus NFT warriors. Now that's a lot of slashes. Nobody's gonna look the same here. Twelve continents. The music's great. I love that chick. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Bring it back to dead. So now after going through, we know who some of these characters are. Very cool. Coming this winter. Visit World of Warriors Games. Guys, do do that. <laughs> visit World of Warriors dot games. All right, you beautiful people. As always, my name is William. This is Crypto Coins NFT Gaming. You guys are awesome. Check out World of Warriors. Comment down below. Check out those links. Get into it. Everybody out there, be the best person you can be and be awesome. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.